Alright guys, what's up? Um, so I'm recording this video to do the tutorial for how to do subclaims on HGF as of Factions 4.0. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get right down to it. So the first thing you're going to need to uh, set up a subclaim is you're going to have to do slash of claim uh, to get the claiming stick. Um, which, this is the only way to do it now. I know in old Factions 3 you were able to use a normal stick, but you have to do F claim to get it now. Um, and you'll see it's called claiming stick, got all that shit on it. Um, so you'll start off um, with, uh, and you'll, you'll find the selected area you want it to be, so I mean, this is just the demo area that I'm going to use, um, but if you want it to be just a small square, it has to be at least three, uh, uh, like long by three wide by three height, um, but uh, this is obviously much bigger than that, and then if you have a smaller room, or a larger room that you want to subclaim, you can do that as well. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the corner that you want to start on. So right there, with the, it, you just left click that and then punches it and it says started subclaiming. You go to the other, or the opposite, and then you have to hit the roof too, so that way, because uh, it's not like normal claiming, it's got, it makes like a cube rather than uh, just pillars all the way to, uh, from zero to like 256 or whatever the sky limit is. Alright, you click that again, and then it'll say claim created. Right now, no one has access to it. Um, and then you got to name the claim, so you do slash cn, or claim name, and then uh, I'll name it test. Um, so from there, you'll do slash f rank, and then the this claim is in the... There, uh, we have two claims, and so like that one's the main claim. This one is uh, PvP squadron that I'm in, so I'll go to this one, and then... Um, there it is right there, it pops up. You gotta go to the land, and you have to right click that land that it is um, to go and access all the things inside of it. So then you will right click that to view its children, which there are no sub subclaims to that. So then you'll left click that, and you'll see that there's the public rank, and then you add a rank and all that. Um, right now I have the permissions to uh, m modify ranks, but soon I'll show you guys how to um, allow people to do that. So from here we'll go to add a rank, um, and then you'll type, uh, I guess, test as well. Um, and then you get this GUI that pops up, and it says allow building, allow chest, allow this, allow that. Um, so you can choose what to and what not to allow. It's pretty uh, optimizable um, on what you can allow people to touch and not. And so, like, if I wanted someone to be able to access everything except for breaking it for, I don't know, whatever purpose, you could do that. And then... In your faction, all these skulls represent the player, and uh, so you just gotta kind of hover. You gotta kind of find them. It's not alphabetical, which kind of sucks, but you just find them in the GUI, and then you'll find it. And I'll uh, add myself to it for uh, right now, so I can for the testing purposes. All right, so I enabled everything for me, um, and then I add it. But like I could add anybody um, that I want to it. Um, so I could add hypersonic average chase um anybody and they'll immediately have access and then to do uh, to disable it you just go right back to it right click left click right click this rank oh no that's that's to modify when you right click a rank it's a uh, to modify who can uh modify it or like who can change the permissions it's so, like i just enabled it so now i can come back later and change all this stuff about what i'm able to do and who can access it um, and then once you get back into here, after you close out of it, you can still always come back, remove them very quickly, um, put them back, add more people, whatever. All right, so that's how that... And then you can keep adding ranks. So if you want to have certain rank, Like, if you want a bunch of people to have different permissions per claim, like if you want a group of people to be able to build on it and access chess while others only access chess, you can just add a rank, start from scratch, test two add death to myself, and then you can do everything except for building, you could do da 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 and so on. And so, um, that's how the ranks work, and you can keep, you can just keep making multiples of, uh, one rank. And also, to, uh, to see your claim, you have to do slash f map, and it'll pop up, and, uh, if you're inside of it, as far as I know, it'll only, sh uh, pop up, or it'll only show the, uh, claim that you're inside of, but if you're outside... Then it'll show, yes, see it now it says land, iron, and then this is the diamond because I was outside. Um, so if you want to just find the uh, specified um, land, then just stand inside of it and then do it. Um, to expand, you will take 
your claiming stick and you will go to the one of the corners and then you I'll bring it in so I don't have to tear into that wall but you can also go out and you just go and then punch it again and it automatically shrinks it this new iron block is it like um th now that now this is the new sub claim this is completely public to the entire faction as you can see those people like Patty and Lena are both opening these chests and it was claimed a minute ago um so that's all there is with sub claiming but I'll go to permissions as well uh, from here so uh, I'll go to the main one for this alright so what you want to do from here is uh, you want to left click when you're editing who can or when you're making it like who can edit permissions and stuff um, you as the leader you'll have to do this for your officers and then your officers can continue to do that like I'm only an officer so it says you currently don't have permissions to modify or edit this rank um, but I do have it for leader because the leader of my faction gave me access to that so and you can also add a rank if your leader gives you access so you can keep making custom ones on who can edit and what all they can edit in the base so you'll go back to the original claim and I'll start at this one because this is still the test you left click it and I don't have access to any of these on this one but you'll or I'll go back to the other one so I can show you. Um, so like for here, it says like six pool. He's the leader, but I'm able to modify if I want to. And this is pretty much so he can like do anything on the entirety of the uh, base. He doesn't have to like go through and give himself rank to every sub claim. Um, and that is it, I believe, on ranks as well as sub claims. Um. And then also one more quick thing, because uh, there's a there's a little bit of bugs coming or that happens with naming it if there's multiple of the same name, um, it doesn't allow you to. So you can just stand inside the claim that you want to um, work with, and uh, just type slash f. It's kind of scary, but it's no big deal. Um, <laughs> I've uncl I got unclaimed my base a couple of weeks ago by accident, but I messed up. Um, you can just stand inside your claim, type slash f unclaim. F show to make sure we still have our f home. Yep. All right. So. And then you'll type uh, Sasha F map, and you're back to nothing. No subclaim here. Everyone can come in their faction and break this blo these blocks. Um, I mean, you're all you're all good to go as soon as you set that up. It's just uh, it's pretty basic once you get a hold of it. The GUI can get a bit confusing, and you have to be on 1.7.6 or higher to use it. But uh, as soon as you do it one or two times, you'll pretty much get it down, and you'll understand it. So I think that's all there is that has to do with subclaiming. So thanks, and I hope I was helpful.